our, my, and Aaron's argument, discussion about rage rooms Mm -hmm. and how violence, even in a very controlled situation, can in fact rewire the brain, right? Because you and I talked about this, you went, no, I just don't. I mean, your first reaction when I was, you said, what's a rage room? And I was telling and your first reaction was, Oh, geez. I, I just don't, yeah. <laughs> I just don't see that's a very good idea. Well, and I've, since we talked last night, I've been thinking about it some, and, and rage and anger are important. Um, they're important elements in our, you know, rage. You need, to let, you need to let the steam out of the pot a little bit. Well, in aggression in a controlled way, you know, if you're in a boardroom and you want to get your point across, you got to be a little bit aggressive. So used used in a controlled and appropriate way, anger is telling you that there's something wrong. It's sort of like when you put your finger on the stove and it's hot that, and you pull your finger away, anger is sort of the same. But to me, this rage room thing isn't really controlled. You go in controlled, but it seems like you're paying money to get angrier and angrier as you beat things. I don't understand the theory that if I smash stuff, it's going to calm me down. My thought is, If I start breaking stuff, it's going to make me angrier. Sure. Well, as a researcher, I started thinking after we talked, what is the other side of the issue? What's the other hypothesis? And maybe it's that if you get in touch with your rage and anger and you are more comfortable with it, you know, if you just try to suppress it, that's not good either, right? Mm -hmm. You could explode at some point. So So perhaps there is a role for this. So a, I'm just not angry, so it doesn't speak to me. A girlfriend comes to you, okay? Yeah. It's it's like tomorrow. Girlfriend comes to you. She says, you know what? I've heard about this rage room thing over in Tyler. What do you say? I'm, the girls, we're going over there. We're all going to pile in one car, six or eight of us. We're going over there. We're going to go have a couple of drinks. Then we're going to... Then we're going that to the sounds terrible. <laughs> then we're going to the rage room. Yes. What does Dr. Disbro or what does Liz say? Well, Dr. Disbro says, let's give it a try because I'm a scientist. I like to experiment with things. So I would I would certainly try it. So would you watch first before you started smashing stuff to see what all the girls did? I would definitely be watching what everybody did and then Afterwards, if we went out for a drink, I would definitely quiz everybody to see, you know, what is it about this that they're getting from it? Okay, so what would Elizabeth's reaction be? Not necessarily Dr. Disbro does it on a personal level. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's I never s- would have thought of it. No, I mean, I have other, I, I, I play basketball, I garden, I, you know, I have other outlets outlets that are don't involve smashing if, if nothing else it seems like a great way to figure out which one of your friends not to piss <laughs> off 